All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Chakurash, the one that's our elders and apostles of great meals, and I do it well. And salutations and blessings to you, I can just push this word with true sincerity and charity. All right, today I want to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it. Our focus is this truth. All right, man? That's where our mind is at, man. All right? Our mind is now in this world, man. All right, what's going on with, with the folly of this world, man? All right? We ain't worried about that, man. Hey, hey, our minds ain't on that, man. All right? Hey, as the scripture say, man, get a Lord rest, uh, get, get a Lord no rest, neither day nor night, man. You know, hey, we steady crying out to the Lord, man. All right, steady working, man. All right. And continuously doing what we have to do, man, so that we may obtain salvation, man. All right. That's where our mind is at. That's where our focus is at, man. All right. I like a hey, like these false prophets, man. Hey, these niggas in the world, man. All right. Worried about this world, man. Worried about worldly things, man. All right. We ain't worried about this world, man. The fashion of this life is going to pass away, man. All right. So any further ado, I'm jumping to it. This is Revelation 3 and 11. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown. All right, man? So hey, we ought to hold on to the truth with everything that we got, man. All right? So that no man take our crown, man. So that we, so that we can obtain salvation, man. All right? Hey, giving it our all, man. All right? Totally being locked in and totally focused, man. All right? Having tunnel vision on this word, man. Say so we are not uh, tangled, entangled with this world, man. And this is 2 Timothy 2 and 3. It says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shia Mashiach. All right, man. Enduring that hardness, man. Enduring the temptations, man. All right. Enduring the, the slander, man. All right. And enduring the, 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 the fleshly trials that we have, man, day to day, man. All right. Hey, we enduring all those things, man, as a good soldier, man. All right. A champion for Yahweh Shia Mashiach, man. So that we can win, man. It says, No man that wore Entangling himself with the affairs of this life, all right, man. We at war, man. All right, and we 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 are in a spiritual war right now, man. All right, we cannot entangle ourselves with the affairs of this life, man. All right, what's going on inside this world, man? The folly of this life, man. All right, we ain't worried about that, man. All right, only thing we worried about and totally focused on, man, is this truth, man. All right, so that we can obtain salvation, man. So that we don't get destroyed with this world, man. All right. And we ain't worried about the baby mama drama and all that other bullshit, man. All right? Hey, those things are going to get you destroyed, man. All right? Focus on Yahweh Hashem al Shah. says that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Right, man? We ought to please the Lord, man. All right? And they pleasing the Lord is they, they not, not having mortal thoughts, man. All right? Not thinking about this world, man. Not, not you know, trying to focus on folly, man. Hey, hey we trying to please the Lord, man. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 14 and 13, all right, man? Because hey, you don't want the Lord to be mad with you, man. All right, because the Yahweh Shema Shah is mad with you, man. Hey, you, hey, you're going to be destroyed, man. You're going to find yourself in pitiful case. It says 2nd Ezra 14 and 14. It says let go from deep mortal thoughts, all right, man? We have let go of those mortal thoughts, man, all right? That fleshly mindset, man. We're killing that man every day, man, all right? It says cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature, right? We have put off the weak nature, man. We have put on the arm of Yahweh Shema Shah, man. This is Ephesians 6 and 10. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahweh and in the power of his might. All right, man. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to withstand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. All right, man. We are fighting a spiritual battle, man. All right. We ain't fighting flesh and blood, man. It says, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, Against spiritual wickedness in high places, all right, man. We fighting against this, this damn devil, man. Esau, Edom, man. All right, and we fighting against demons, man. All right, we ain't fight. We ain't fighting this. We ain't fighting uh, against fleshly things, man. All right. So, hey, man, we hey, we gotta stay locked in, man. We gotta stay in the spirit, man. All right. Gotta stay totally focused on your Shema Shmuel Shah, man. Letting go uh, those mortal thoughts, man. All right. Letting go that weak nature, man. Being strong in the Lord, man. It says Second Ezra fourteen and fifteen. It says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times, all right, man? Flee from these times, man. Flee from this world, man, all right? Hey, do not be entangled with this life, man, all right? It says, for yet uh, greater evils uh, than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done there, there uh, shall be done hereafter, right, man? So, hey, hey the things that you've seen, all right, the death that you're seeing right now, man, it, it pales in comparison, man. All right, to the judgment that is about to hit this place, man. All right. So, hey, we got to be totally focused on Yahweh Shem Al Shai, man. Totally focused on salvation, man. All right. And being more and more into this word, man. All right. It says, for look, for look now, 
so like it says, for look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more evils shall increase upon them that dwell therein. All right. So hey, the more these evils increase, all right, the more our wisdom and knowledge is, is supposed to increase, man. All right. The more we're supposed to be inside this word, man. All right. Because hey, this is the only thing that's going to protect us, man. That faith that you have in Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. This is Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, and wisdom and knowledge. Shall be the stability of thy times, all right, man. This wisdom and this knowledge is gonna keep us stable uh in, in these times that are to come, man. All right, you go into this word uh stability, man, it goes into faith, man. All right. Hey, keeping keeping that keeping your mind focused on Yahweh Shah, man. All right, that's what this wisdom and this knowledge does for us, man. It keeps us faithful unto the Lord, man. All right. And that's why you gotta totally uh, be be continuously meditating in this word, man. Hey, speaking to myself first and foremost. And it says, in the strength of salvation, all right, man. And his word is the strength of our salvation, man. Hey, having, having that faith in these laws and commandments, man. All right? It is going to bring you salvation, man. It's going to get you deliverance. It's going to get you protection, man. All right? Hey, we ain't focused on this word, on this on this world, man. Salaki, all right? This world is going to be destroyed, man. All right? This world is, is going to be engulfed with plagues from the Lord, man. All right? And hey, the only way to escape it is through this, man. It says, the fear of Yahweh is his treasure, right, man? That's our treasure, man. All right? That is our treasure, man. Fearing Yahweh by Shemal Shah, man. All right, and they keep a keeping ourselves clean, man, so that a a we a, we can be uh delivered, man. It says Matthew six and nineteen it says, "Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth." All right, hey, that's what these niggas do, man. All right, they 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 they, they have their treasures upon this earth, man. All right, only thing a nigga want, all right, is a mansion. All right, a Bugatti. All right, and a couple of bitches, man. All right, they they, they don't care about the Lord, man. They don't care about they don't care about this word, man. All right. That's their treasure, man. Earthly things, man. Since where moth and rust doeth corrupt, all right, man. So hey, hey, the things, the things that you that you hold uh, uh, uh dear to your heart, man. All right, two thirds hold dear to their hearts, man. All right, it's gonna moth and rust, man. All right. Meaning that it is not, it's not, it's, it has no enduring substance, man. All right, but hey, what we have is a enduring substance, man. Fearing Yahweh by Shema Al Shah, man. All right. Hey, we're, 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 we're going to be able to use that in that day, man. These niggas ain't going to be able to use what they have all right, in that day, man. They're shredders, man. Says where thieves break through and steal, all right, man. Hey, Esau, Edom can, can, can just come and take all of your shit away, man. All right, it don't matter how famous you are. It don't matter how rich you are, man. All right? Hey, you're still a nigga at the end of the day, man. You're still a slave, man. All right? You're still under the foot of the so-called white man, man. All right? Who is the ruler of this world? Esau, Edom, man. All right? Job 9 and 24. All right? He, hey, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. All right, and hey, you can't hold you can't hold on to this life, man. This life has no substance, man, whatsoever, man. It's wicked, it's evil, man. All right, hey, it's gonna pass away. All right, it, is, it was set up to pass away, man. The triumphing of the wicked is but for a moment, man. Okay, it says verse twenty it says, "But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal." Right, man. A, 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 a thief. All right, Esau eat them. All right, a hey, no one in this world, man. A, a rust. Moth, man, all right? Hey, nothing, nothing is going to corrupt uh, this wisdom and knowledge that we have, man. This fear that we have towards the Habba Shema al man, all right? It says, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also, all right, man? So, hey, where is your treasure, man, all right? Is your treasure in this world or hey, on the Lord, man, all right? Hey, that's where your focus will be at, man, all right? It says, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. All right, man. So hey, we gotta have that total tunnel vision, man, for Yahweh Hashem Al Shah, man. We'll be full with light, man. We'll be full with this wisdom and this knowledge, man. We'll get protection, man. We'll get salvation, man. All right. Hey, that's why our mind is at, man. That's where the true prophets' minds are at, man. I, hey, 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 these false prophets' minds are on, are, are on Maybachs, man. All right, making money, man. Rap videos and shit, man. All right, the true prophets ain't set up to fucking do that shit, man. All right, we set up to a hey, rebuke our people, man. Tell them to get right, man. All right, a hey, hey, make sure that we're on point, man, so that we can uh, get salvation as well, man. So it says, "But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness?" All right, man. And a hey, hey, day, that's 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 two thirds of our people, man. All right, these false prophets, man. All right, this world, man, is darkness, man. All right, hey, their 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 uh eye is evil, man. All right, they looking on fleshly things, man. They looking on, on on temporal things, man. We looking at eternal things, man. All right, we looking at at, at an enduring substance, man. That's what we looking forward to, man. This is Romans twelve and nine. It says, uh, "Yeah, let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. 
cleave to that which is good. All right, man. It says cleave to that which is good, man. All right. Uh, let me go into this word cleave. And hey, amen. We have to hate all weakness, man. Hate all uh, abominable works, man, that be done inside this world, man. Because hey, we truly love the Lord, man. Hey, it's, hey, this is the word um, cleave. Strong's G, 2853, Kalao, Kalao. All right, Kalao. All right, it says to glue, to glue together, cement, fasten together, to join or fasten firmly together, to join oneself, to cleave to, right, man? So, hey, we are to cleave to that which is good, man. All right, we told to be, we, we told to be, we are supposed to be totally focused and totally locked in, man. All right, to this word, man. All right, a hey, totally, man. All right, totally engulfed. With the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. All right? So that, hey we, hey, we can endure that evil day, man, that is to come, man. All right? That's the only way, man. Hey, it says, not slothful in business. Uh, Slack at verse 10. It says, be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. Right, man? Hey, hey, we have this brotherhood, man. All right? Love the brotherhood, man. All right? Show that love, man. Get that charity to the Akim, man. All right? Hey, give your time to the brotherhood, man. Give your time to... to, to to uh to Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. You know? It says not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, all right, man. Fervent in spirit, man. All right. A hey, giving that diligence, man, so that hey, we can never fall, man. All right. And we'll always be on point, man, for Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. Giving your diligence, man. All right. Totally focused, man. You know? Hey, it says, uh, rejoicing in hope, patient and tribulation, continuing, instant in prayer. All right. Says that this distributing to the necessity of saints, giving to hospitality, all right, man. Hey, that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. All right, if we do these things, man, as it says in uh, second Peter's the first chapter, man, we'll never fall, man. All right, and your how about Shema is always gonna, it's always gonna, uh, you know, be on our side, man. All right, hey, through, hey, through the thick and the thin, man, hey, the Lord is always with us, man. You know, you gotta stay on point, man. Don't be slothful, man. Don't, you know, uh, um. You know, have a, a wicked mindset, man. All right, cleave to righteousness, man. It says to be glued to it, man. And this is um Deuteronomy 6 and 4. It says, Hear, O Yahweh. Uh, it's like it says, Hear, O Israel, Yahweh, our power is one Lord. All right, man. Yahweh Shema Shah is number one, man. All right, the Lord, it should be should be our number one focus off rip, man. All right, this commanded of us to do so, man. It says, And thou shalt love Yahweh thy power with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. All right, man, with everything that we get, man. All right, totally sold, totally focused on the Lord, man. It says, and these words, uh, which I command thee this day, shall be in thy heart, be in your mind, man. All right. It says, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. All right, man. So wait, always, 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 man. All right, having your mind on this truth, man. All right, have your mind on righteousness, man. Have your mind on your Shemal Shai, man. All right, because if you're not doing that thing, if you're not doing that, man, this flesh is weak, right? All right, this flesh is weak, man. This flesh uh, 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 overcome, man. All right, you'll start getting weak, man. You won't be in the spirit as much, man. You, you, you want think about precepts, man. You know, this is John six and sixty three. So like it says, it is a spirit that quicken it. The flesh profit nothing. All right, man. This flesh profits nothing, man. The spirit is what quickens, man. What is the spirit? It says the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. All right, man. This word is spirit, man. All right, just, just like it. This word is life, man. All right, this word is what quickens you, man. It's what makes you get active, man. It's what makes you alive, man. All right, makes you feel like, 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 like you have hope, man. All right, everything outside of that is death, man. All right, it's darkness, man. All right, so hey, we got to be totally focused on the Lord, man. Uh, go back to this one more. This is Deuteronomy 6 and verse 8. It says, And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. All right, man? So, hey, always filtering things throughout the scriptures, man. All right? Always hey, having your mind on this word, man. Always meditating on your Shah, man. All right? And that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. It's Matthew 22 and 36. It says, Master, which is the great commandment of great commandment in the law? Yahweh Shai said unto them, Thou shalt love Yahweh thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. Alright, man. This is the this is the, the 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 great commandment, man. The first great commandment. It says this is the first and great commandment. Alright, man. So hey, this is what this is the number one thing 
all right, that we should be doing, man. Totally focused on your Yahweh Shema Shah, man. Giving our soul, our mind, our everything to the Lord, man. You know, it doesn't mean to be O R, man. Overrides to destroying yourself, man. All right, but hey, giving more into the Lord instead of the flesh, man. All right, giving more to your Yahweh Shema Shah and much less to the flesh, man. You know, it says this is this is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it: Thou shalt love Yahweh thy Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets, all right, man. Because hey, if you if you if you love your Shema Shah, all right, and you're not gonna you you're not gonna uh, do wrong to your neighbor, man. All right, a hey, love working no ill to his neighbor, man. Love is fulfillment of the law, all right. So hey, you're gonna hey, you're gonna show that love to your towards your neighbor, man. You're not gonna do your neighbor wrong, man. All right, and hey, your brother, man. All right, the Akim, man. Are right? you gonna always look out? You're gonna always a hey, give out give out uh, uh um you know uh edification, man. All right. And so that we all may obtain salvation, man. All right. Hey, all these things, man. Hey, those two things, man. We can hang on, on the whole law, man. You know. So hey, I'm gonna hit this um, Colossians and uh, wrap it up. This Colossians chapter three and verse one. It says, "If ye then be risen with with Hamashiach, seek those things which are above." Where Hamashiach sit it on the right hand of Yahweh, right, man. We are to seek those things above, man. We have been risen with Hamashiach, man. We're no longer in a dead state, man. All right. We're no longer, hey, we're not condemned, man. All right. And hey, we, we we had the name of Yahweh Shema Shah. We believe the name of Yahweh Shema Shah, man. All right. And hey, how do we believe it, man? We, we put it into action, man. All right. And hey, we truly, hey, we truly love the Lord, man. We truly seeking salvation, man. All right. So it says, set your affection on things above, not on things above. On the earth, all right, man. So we are to set our affection, man. All right, I'm going to this word on the things above, man. Not the things of this life, man. We ain't focused on this life, man. Not focused on this, man. Strong's G 5426. Franeo, Franeo. Okay, Franeo. And it says to have understanding, be wise, to feel, to think. To have, um, to have an opinion of oneself, think of oneself, to be modest, not let one's opinion, though just of himself, exceed the bounds of modesty. To think or judge with one's opinion, uh, what one's opinion is. Um, it says to be of the same mind, agree together, cherish the same views, be humorous, to divide one's, uh, to direct one's mind to a thing, to seek, to seek for, right. To seek one's entrance or uh, advantage. To be of one party, side with him in public affairs, right, man? So, hey, hey, hey our minds are totally uh, connected to Yahweh Bashem al Shah, man, all right? And it says that we have the mind of a Mashiach, man, all right? So, our mindset is, 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 is on righteousness, man, all right? It's not on wickedness. It's not on this world, man. It's not on fleshly things, man, all right? And our minds are, on, are set on things above, man. So, set your affection. On things above, not on things on the earth. All right, man. That's why our heart is at, man. All right. That's why our treasure is at, man. It says, for ye are dead and your life is here with Hamashiach and Yahweh. All right, man. We are dead to this world, man. All right. And the things, the things of this life mean nothing to us, man. All right. It's good to say that the prophets hated their life unto death, man. All right. That's the mindset that we have, man. All right. Only salvation, man. We seek a new heaven and a new earth to come, man. Fuck this place and fuck this world, man. All right. Focus on your heart by Shemal Shah. So, hey, I pray this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Racha Kurash. The one that's our elders and apostles of great millstone that do it well. And salutations and blessings to you, I can that's pushing this word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.